We are moving on here to unfortunate news with the Seattle Kraken, in which they are 10, 14, and 8 with 28 points in 32 games, and they are currently fifth in the Pacific Division. Again, I, I don't know what they're going to do with this team because it seems like they kind of are relying on guys like Matthew Beniers. They thought he was going to come in and make a huge impact. He's really, really good. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, you go down their stat sheet and... He has 13 points in 32 games after coming off a rookie season, which he was pretty much dominant and made a huge impact on the ice. It was a huge reason why the Kraken almost made it to the Western Conference Finals. And I felt like maybe he could come in and have a better productive productive season, but right now he hasn't. And unfortunately, Kraken fan, if there aren't, are any of you guys watching or listening, I was right about the Kraken. I didn't think they were going to be this productive team this season. And I thought they overperformed last season by about 20 points. And right now they're proving me right. Hopefully they do prove me wrong. But I know uh, Chris and Preston flame me a little bit for on the Kraken preview for saying that. So, shout out to myself. Anyways, you, you like, look at their goaltending. Like, it, like listen, okay, I like the cord. I like Grubauer. The cord actually is playing well with the 2-5-7 goals against a 9-0 908 save percentage. Philip Grubauer, on the other hand, though, 325, 884 save percentage. I really don't know, like, what's going on with Grubauer. He had a hell of a season last season. He was one of the main reasons why they ended up actually almost making it to the Western Conference Finals, lost in seven games at Dallas, unfortunately. Um, but he saw them a couple games in the playoffs. He played well in the entire regular season last season. But they're just not getting any production. They don't have, like, that superstar or two. And I think they shouldn't rebuild because I, I think this team has too much talent on it to do a rebuild and get rid of all of it. But they also have some good prospects. They also have decent draft capital. So what I say, go out and get more. Kind of retool the team. Take a year or two kind of off and kind of retool it, right? Kind of get some higher draft picks. Get some really, really, really elite prospects. Obviously, I know that's hard in today's game. But go and... Go and get some guys that can really fill out the bottom of the roster and kind of get a couple superstars in free agency, and I think they can do that, and I I, I hope they do, honestly. And unfortunately, I don't see the Kraken making the playoffs this season unless they do something to improve the roster because I really don't think the roster is good enough. I mean, Jarek McCann has kind of regressed. Matty Beneers has, although Matty Beneers is in a sophomore slump, so let's not say he's washed or regressed. He's only in the second season due to still absolutely gross. Oliver Bjorkstrand is leading the team in points with 25 and 32. Vince Sun, of course, I mean, I love the dude to death. He's a former St. Louis Blues. Blues are my second favorite team. I think Dunn is a great... Great piece for that Kraken team. I just think up front, they struggle scoring sometimes. I think Jordan Eberle is going to have to go. I mean, trade him somewhere. I mean, maybe the Islanders uh, go back to Long Island. You could do that. Maybe go to Chicago because Chicago lost Taylor Hall. I know. I know Eberle is is a wing, and Taylor Hall was a wing as well. So, I mean, you could kind of make that match up. Uh, obviously, the Kraken probably aren't going to look at really trading any of those guys until at the deadline. Maybe Everly doesn't get traded. That's just my take on it. I know I'll probably get attacked for saying, oh, Everly's not going to trade it. Whatever. Screw you. Um, <laughs> but I, I just think they got to they gotta make some changes to this roster to just line up, and I think at some point they're going to have to because if they don't, they're just going to be stuck in this no man's land and kind of dwelling over the overperformance that they had last season, and I don't think that's really repeatable. You're not getting the same production you are out of your guys like you did last season, like this season. So I just think you got to make a change, and I think Jordan Everly is going to be have to, have to Jordan Everly is going to have to be the first guy to go. Kraken fan might not like that because I know Everly's loved in Seattle, but that is going to end it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed all of our content, all of our socials are down below as well as the subscribe button, and of course we'll see you guys in the next episode.